Um, so, hello. Uh, hopefully this works okay. I'm outside right now. Um, it is 9 a.m. And it's really beautiful out right now. Um, I'm not really a summer person. I don't enjoy the heat. Um, which is why I prefer being outside in the mornings. I don't, I mean, I live in the northeast, so it's not that hot compared to where I have lived in the past, but you know, 75 and up, I, I just die, I hate it, um, I like, you know, 60s, I don't know, let me know what your favorite temperature is in the comments, um, we're here today drawing a little bird guy, I guess, he, um, this is a thing that I used to do a lot, this was a couple months back, actually, um, where I take some random Pinterest things I found on Pinterest and use them to inspire something. I don't remember what some, what one of them was. I know that one of them was just a picture of like some reference photo guy and that one of them was like just somewhat like an oh look so I guess we can see some of them in the video and some of one of them was just like an art someone's art that I really like the style of. I'm not sure who the artist was. I tried to find it, but Pinterest isn't the greatest for giving people credit, but I do not own that art that flashes up sometimes, the one on Pinterest. Um, I'm just using it as sort of like a style um, exploration, you know, and that's how we learn. We learn from looking at other people's work and seeing what we like from th that work. Um, and I guess one of the pictures has to have been- Oh, it was an owl. It was a barn owl. Um, like a barn owl reference photo. Barn owls are one of my- Well, just owls in general, I think, are really neat. Um, but barn owls in particular. Um, you know, guardians of Gahul. Um, but yeah, I don't have a whole lot to say about this, um, drawing process. It was one of the longer pieces- like it took a longer i hope the bird song doesn't bother people i find it nice um but yeah this drawing took a lot longer than a lot of my other pieces because it was in a very painterly sort of style um but i really enjoyed doing it i remember that i remember finding it really fun to do um hopefully this lasts to my ipad isn't up to the most charge i think i'm on four percent um well, you know, living on the edge, you see, that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, so figuring out how to combine a human and a bird was kind of an interesting thing. Um, I find it really fun. I, I really like bird, anthropomorphic birds, I guess. Like the Rito from Zelda. Uh, just, you know, in general, I think bird people are cool. Um, I don't know if that's a thing, but... I'm making it one now. So our friend also has this little, um, very simple round bird. It's kind of a weird contrast, I know, with, like, the painterly, semi-realistic style that he's in, but I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, I think it's cute. And let's see, what else was I going to say? Ah, uh, so I'm pretty sure, so I did a poll on Instagram for, like, what this guy's story should be, and he ended up with the name Tavarian Lark. He is a wizardy dude, I think, who visits his mother a lot and cooks with her. That is what some of the people said. I don't remember all of the other, all of the other, um, background things. They're in my notes somewhere. I'll have to, I'll have to find them and maybe add them to this video. But yeah, so that's fun. I like interacting with the community through Instagram polls and questions. You know, I think it's a good way for artists to connect with people. Um, and I'd have to just have to say that this is, like, weirdly easy for me. Usually doing voiceovers, I absolutely hate. Like, I don't. I hate talking to myself. And, well, like, I talk to myself a lot. But I feel like when you're recording it, it's different. I feel like I have to have a purpose, you know? But, I, you know, today is just... I'm feeling good. I'm feeling relaxed. Had some <laughs> ice cream and strawberries for breakfast. And some tea. Peppermint tea. Um, are you a tea 
you're a coffee person. I, I find that I like both. Um, it just, you know, it depends. You know, there's some coffee that I think is gross and some teas that I think are gross. Um, peppermint's probably my favorite. I really love peppermint tea. Egyptian licorice. Um, some fruit teas. Green tea. Although I don't really, I don't really like matcha. Like matcha flavored things. There's some matcha Kit Kats we got a while ago and those things tasted like dust. Dusty grass, which is not a flavor profile that I particularly enjoy. Um, let's see. Ah, leather. So that's what we're drawing here. Leather. Um, leather is an interesting thing to color because leather shades and lights differently than other objects. I don't know, if, is that a verb? Shades and lights? I guess it is, yeah. I don't know if lights is, but shades definitely is. Um, but with leather, and I'm no expert, you know, I'm kind of lazy, honestly, when it comes to drawing clothes. I really hate drawing fabric. Um, you don't really shade leather a whole lot. It's mostly sharp highlights and a lot of, like, creases and... You know, leather is a thick, heavy material, so it sort of bunches up in a way that's different from cotton fabrics. Um, I took a class a long time ago in middle school, actually, where there was a little unit thing. It was a comic illustration class, um, and we were learning how to do leather, and that was something that just stuck with me for some reason. You know, one of those things that you remember, and you're just kind of like, huh, that's kind of funny. But yeah, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to doing clothes, but I'm still, you know, I'm still happy when, how this turned out. You know, my goal in life isn't to draw super realistic fabric, it's just to get the point across and to like the results, and I do like these results. Ooh, that's a loud one. Um, he, so yeah, and I'm, I'm really happy with the results of this, um, artistic endeavor. Um... I did have some, you know, I didn't know exactly what colors I wanted to do. I ended up doing the pants, like this orangey, bluish, weird color. And honestly, this is one of my favorite pieces I have ever done. Um, it's just painterly and fantasy, but like still sort of urban at the same time. And the background turns out really nice. Uh, I will say that after I did this, there was a long few months where I really hated all of my art. Um, but I think I'm getting back into the swing, the swing of things recently. Um, oddly, M Mermaid has been a really big part of that. Usually I find myself getting really stressed out over month's challenges, even though they're not supposed to be stressful. I'll stress myself out over anything. But Mermaid has been really helpful for that. So yeah, I actually, I don't know why the video ends so soon. Apparently I didn't record the background, but I'll put I'll put an image of what this whole piece looks like. But I hope you enjoyed this today. Um, I had a lot of fun making this. Bye.